get started making your plier, first you want to take a couple of bags that you have laying around the house, plastic bags or trash bags, and then smooth them out. After you've smoothed out your bag, you want to make sure that you've tucked in the dart. So this bag, you need to poke your finger in here, smooth it in, and then flatten it down on both sides so it's completely flat and smooth. Then you're going to cut along the edge and remove this extra piece here. And then you want to cut along the top edge here. And on this particular bag, I had to cut the straps off and this extra part here. It just wasn't going to work for me. I need a nice straight line. This part right here is going to be trash. And then if you'll save these handles, you can actually open them up and cut them lay them out and we will make a different kind of yarn which I'll show you how to make with that one. So now what I've done is I've opened up the bag where the darts were and you notice it's a wire bag and this bag now is ready. It's in a tube shape. It's going to be open on both ends ready to make the type of yarn that you want. To get started on making a one ply yarn lay out your bag long lengthwise this way and then we're going to fold this over near halfway and you're going to leave uh, a couple of inches at the top here. So this is the edge here. Leave that and then you're going to continue folding and smoothing it out until you have just a couple of inches on this side that smooths over and then this extra layer here. Start by cutting in about one inch or three quarters of an inch from the end and work your way down the row. You can start from either direction. So however wide you want to make your yarn material. I suggest if you're using the thin plastic bags, then you're going to use a little bit wider, maybe an inch, to make sure that it's strong enough. When you make your cut, you're going to go right above this line here, and you're going to leave this gap. This is a guide so that you do not cut to the end. Continue going over. Continue cutting until you get to the end. I'm now cut all of my slits here. If some of them are unfolded, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna take our hand and slide it in like it's a sleeve. Now what we're going to do is cut on a diagonal angle from your first um, area here and you're going to you're going to start about even with where this cut is and start over here at a diagonal and you're going to go from here up to the middle of the first one on the top side. And that is going to drop down. Okay. Then what we're going to do is now cut from this next cut diagonally over to the next uh, next one on the top, the very first one on the top. So which, what you should have is it'll continue to make one long strand. So you'll continue cutting from this first corner diagonal over to the next corner. And it'll continue in one long strand. Cut all the way across. When you get to the last one, you should have sort of a V at the bottom and then one left. So you're going to cut from here and then cut diagonally over so you have about the same width going around here. So this should be the end of your strand. This is a ball that I have made from one ply. You can see how thin it is after it's been rolled out. You can take the end here and then just start rolling it into your ball or if you have a drop spindle or something, you can start making your ball and then I would suggest putting it 
in a plastic bag and poking a hole through the top and then you can start pulling this out from it so it doesn't get unraveled or tangled. It doesn't um, hold itself very well in a ball as easy, so that might be a good solution for you. So some of the things you can make is some nice little embellishments, uh, add some little decorations to your things, and they're waterproof, of course. Add it to some of your knit uh, grocery bags and add a little bit of a flare. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is brought to you by AllFreeKnitting.com and Kristen with Good Knit Kisses. Thanks, and happy crafting! Thank you.